Hello loves, TF Comp here with my lovely guest star. Skylar! Skylar. <laughs> now we are going to play a game called Never Have I Ever. I can get break. <laughs> Skylar here is gonna explain the rules. Okay. The point is each of us are gonna ask a Speak question. Speak a little loud, my volume isn't that good. We're gonna each ask a question. And if we have done it, we're going to flip it over to I have. Which is in blue. If we never have, we're going to flip it over to never, which is in orange and it's not going to show very well. It shows more red. Yeah, because I first used red. My camera sucks. We need a new camera. <laughs> yes, who is messaging me? Alex. <laughs> that was my friend Megan. Oh. Oh my gosh, guys, it was Sherry Yukuneko. She's in a lot of my videos. We do a lot of collabs together. Sherry? Sherry Yuki Neko. I am not going to be It's Japanese. Oh, okay. Yuki Neko. Neko, which means kitty. Neko. Yeah. Okay. So. Ow, my foot. I have. Hold it like that so they can see it. I have hold never up. Never. Here we go. This is how we're going to have to do it when we do the answers. You're, uh, you're going to ask the question first. Okay. Because they never have I ever done us a question. Okay, so yeah, we do never have I ever, and it has to be something that you have not done, personally. Yeah. We have to tell the complete truth, and if we do not, there will be a consequence at so, the end. So, I have to say something. I'll start something simple. Never have I ever been to Iowa. You have to hold- oh wait! <laughs> hold yours up! I didn't see you. I go there every single Christmas. Yep. Now you do something. Never have I ever treated on a test. Yes, you have. <laughs> I know you have. No, I haven't. Jeez. <laughs> you have to say something about it. Come on. <laughs> um, I mean, back when I was in elementary school, a friend of mine said he would trade me it was more of I gave him the answers and he would give me candy. So. Dude, that's cheating and a felony because you're not allowed to make, you're not allowed to sell stuff at school. I didn't know that when I was little. I was like in first that's grade. That's the one. Never have ever committed a felony. At no, school. it's not a felony. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess for me now. Um. Hmm. What have I not done? I've done a lot of things. Yeah. Um, you're, not, you're not supposed to say something that you have not done. Yeah, you're you are. Supposed to say anything. Supposed to say anything. Well, yet, this is our living room. Yeah, welcome to the house, man. We have a family sign, but it's hanging. Okay. Um. Right there. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's hard to think of things for you. Um. Just for me. Because I have more experience than you. Um, it's been see. 10 years I've seen some stuff that I cannot explain. <laughs> Let's see. Um, how about something funny for now? How about pronounced a word wrong? <laughs> Everybody has done that. Now, what are your words? Uvula. That's right. Cannibalism. And that's pronounced right. I first said I'm wrong. I okay. used to call it cannibalism. Cannibalism. And what about that cookie you can't say? Marjapan. Molasses. She pronounced it Marjapan. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, helicopter. Helicopter. Ambulance. Ambulance. Stop yeah. saying them with your accent. Take it this away. This is actually my real... I can't say it without it. Okay. And then fur truck. What? Fur truck. It's all red and it goes... Fire! There you go. Fur truck. <laughs> <laughs> you already stopped that this person can't speak about an accent. <laughs> I told you guys it was my real accent. Related. She's from Scotland. He's from Scotland. Not from Scotland. You're related from something from Scotland and from Ireland. Distant. Past. This one's French. Bonjour. 
Oui, oui. <laughs> okay, and now you guys know why I know some French. <laughs> I also know a little bit of Chinese. And the thing in my bangs. <laughs> okay, you're heard. Okay, I'm gonna say something that I may have done once. Stop Never have I ever hit my brother in the face with a flashlight. <laughs> Never I was one. <laughs> Never yeah. I be. I had a flashlight and I went. <laughs> Left like this giant welt on his head. It was really bad. <laughs> I think you gave me a black eye. I think you did give him a black eye. Never mess with me. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty scary, guys. He was like, <laughs> giant bruise and black eye and. Hey, I've had about it. I've gotten bites ever since before I even knew how to talk. This one's scary. Okay, um... <laughs> Never have I ever... Let's see... Kick someone down the stairs. I want to hear this story. Okay, it wasn't my fault at my school. I was walking, one of my friends dashed right as I stepped and tripped on my foot and went spiraling down our stairs and almost broke their leg. I was sick of walking and it and ran right past me. Okay. Let's see. You want to join our Never Have I Ever? No. Our brother's sneaking by over here in the background. Hey, tell him about the time I gave you a black eye with a flashlight. <laughs> okay, Drew, you come up with a question, though. No, I'm not going to that good. Ah, oh, fine. Okay, so it's my turn then. Okay, never have I ever. Jeez. It turned. Close the door. <laughs> never have I ever gotten a crown on my tooth. What even is that? That's a little piece of metal. Mm, no, nope. I've got braces, but that's that. <laughs> Your turn. Hmm. Never I ever got hurt on the trampoline because my brother was playing Pokemon. Technically, <laughs> it was the ground that hurt me. Hey, he was Pikachu. No, Who I have you? to say it. Okay. Who were you? I was Jigglypuff because I loved <laughs> Jigglypuff because she was so cute. Jigglypuff <laughs> actually is it is the Pokemon version of Blobfish. Yeah. But so, you know, we were we were being we were being little kids. I was running around like la la la. The funny thing is, she's younger than her. Him. Yes. Um, so I was like, la, 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 la. And my little brother, he was like, Thunderbolt, ran forward, shoved me. I fell off the trampoline, broke my arm. So technically it was the ground that hurt me, not the trampoline. I just fell off. <laughs> yeah, so that happened. Years la a couple years later, they had to get rid of the trampoline, not because of that, but because don't trust Hunter on trampoline. Our other brother, yeah. No, this was Gloria's trampoline that I got hurt on. No. It, oh, it was Gloria's, but our trampoline I had to get rid of a couple of years later because Hunter was teaching me how to how to jump up and land like on a seat like that. And he yeah. did it, and he landed on the springs, and it broke all the springs. It was weird. It was interesting. Okay. I was still in the air, so whenever it happened, they had to catch me because I was falling down right as it broke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um, swam in a pool during a lightning storm. What the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, so me and my sister, not this one, Carly. The person that looked exactly like him. We called each other twins. Yeah, it was cute. We always wore the same outfit and goofed around a lot. They had to. I mean, every single Christmas they go, here's the same outfit. Go, go. Well, we, we kind of came up with the idea. We thought it was cute. Yeah. But okay, we finished each other's sentences. It was very cute. So we got a big metal pole, put it right in the middle of the swimming pool. And we kept sw swimming around it, singing, lightning, lightning, come get us. And then it actually hit the pole and we freaked out and ran out. Well, it hit near the pole. We didn't, so we didn't get like it. Carly freaked out, ran inside, and I didn't want to be alone. <laughs> okay, here's one. Never I ever almost drowned at one of my neighbor's pools. Okay, it wasn't my fault. I was walking around with my water gun at, one, at our neighbor Gloria's pool party. 
and one of my and one of the dudes. It was my water gun because I brought it from our house. He had his, and he's like, "That's my water gun." Push me into the deep side of the pool, and I almost drowned. I mean, I actually went unconscious until one of my friends pushed me out of the water. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. I felt like <laughs> I was going to die, and I was only seven, so I was like, I haven't even went to a movie yet. I haven't seen Frozen. Okay. So, my story. If you guys know me, I can't swim. Neither of us can. I took lessons. I'm chicken because my brother, every single time, tried to teach me, he'll just throw me into the pool and say, Lord, how to swim. Yeah. I took lessons as a kid. Didn't retain any of it. I have no idea how to swim. So... I was dared to jump off the diving board. Oh, yeah, I And I have a big, big floaty circle around me, you know. I ran and jumped. Oh, dude, whatever just happened? Like 16. Oh, yeah, I was, I was like whenever, 16, guys. I was there whenever it happened. They were trying to give me lessons to go underwater, and I was right on the deep, little side inside the hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> so. The whole time. I tried, I jumped in with my floaty. Somehow, I got flipped up over, so I was head first. You know, and the floaty was keeping me under the water because it was still around me and I couldn't Evil. flip it. So I was stuck under the water, screaming, freaking out, and no one I comes to help me. I couldn't go over there. If I did, we both drown. Yeah. No one comes. I end up finally flipping myself over and, like, puking out water for the next hour and a half. Oh, yeah, Drew was laughing his head off. Mom was like, oh, what's going on? All right, she wasn't even outside. I think Mom was inside making, like, cookies or something. Yeah, I don't right know. as you were, flipped yourself. She came outside and said, I heard screaming. <laughs> She's like, yeah. oh, yeah, I heard screaming. I just got out of the water. Okay, back to cookies. <laughs> that was kind of sad. It was bad. Okay, Skyler. <laughs> Wait, I think you did that one, right? You did the neighbor's pool. It's my turn. You're right. Oh, yeah. You. I still remember. I was still inside the hot tub. We had a time. lot of injuries at our neighbor's house. <laughs> I never actually. I, no, no. I have an idea. I'm going to say this one because this actually happened and I was scared out of my mind. You were with me. Never I have ever almost had my hand bitten off by a dog. Yeah. We were walking together and there was a dog and I was, and I was just dragging my hand hand near it and it just almost it tried to bang on the fence and it was barking like crazy and almost and almost got my hand by the fingers and almost ripped it it was like right on okay i was screamed ran to the house and this person was laughing their head off okay so i'm gonna do one i have um i have you're still supposed to say never have i ever okay fine never have i ever broken both my arms I never broke any one of my bones. Okay, so both Except of them... Except for maybe my pinky one. Both of them were my brother's fault. You heard the trampoline story. It happened again. No, different way. When he was itty, itty, bitty, still crawling, I was running in circles around a table with my friend, like we were playing tag. He Why crawled... Why were you inside running in a circle? Because... Either way, you would have broken a bone. I was only like three. Not so I was running in a circle, and... He crawled out from under the table. I tripped over him, broke my arm. Which arm? I broke this one. And then you broke that one? And this one I broke on the trampoline. They oh, like this. It just, hey, I broke both of my arms. They yeah. were at different times, thankfully. Yeah. Never both at the same time. But both of them were my brother's fault, and I don't let him live that down. We never let our brother get away with something. Let me think of one. This actually may have happened and it was never my fault. Never have I ever got blamed by a kid who didn't even get hurt and had to sit in the corner for all of kindergarten. Did you have to sit in the corner for all of kindergarten? Man, we are almost the same. I got in a lot of trouble in kindergarten. I never did anything wrong. I was on a slide one time. He threw me off, and it, on wood chip, oh my, I was real lucky because right as I saw, there was a wood chip that was about the size of my middle finger, a whole mm. middle finger. And I had to move my hands like this, and it almost stabbed my hands mm. through it. And then he ran down, covered his nose with a red mark that I had in his pocket, and said that I broke his nose. I had to sit in the kit. Anytime I wanted crown, because I had to sit in the corner for all kindergarten, I had to go up, get one at a time, come back, then go up whenever I'm done, put it back, and if it was broken, I wasn't trying to sit with them again. 
American school systems, guys. Um, oh, and by the way, yeah. if you're watching this, Jet, I will get revenge. Even if you're homeschooled now, I will find you. <laughs> I know your mom. She works at the school. Don't this is years later. No, um, let's see. I Oh, yeah, I was building a big block tower, and my friend, well, my friend, I thought they were my friend. Ran friend over, of me. Yeah, ran over and kicked it down. Blocks fell, smacked her in the eye. Like, she actually got cut in the eye. So hers wasn't faking, but I got in trouble for it. Oh, oh! the only thing is, whenever she got, he got sent up to the nurses, he grabbed a pair of scissors and actually cut his nose. Ah. He went like, and then they, they actually sent him home, and I got fined, and, wait, this is not the only thing, I'm going to have to say this, because it's another terrible thing that I didn't do him. I, I don't know what happened, I think I was half asleep, half awake. I almost strangled one of my friends and got banned from Boys and Girls Club for five days straight. He strangled me first. It was a strangle. <laughs> you were your both strangling. I love hearing these stories. <laughs> yeah, I'm evil. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> no. Um. How about? Just whatever. It doesn't matter if you have or haven't. I'm just trying to think of something. Never have I ever been beaten up at school. I got beat up a lot in school. Chicken. No, I fought back. But oh, I just—I was just really bad at fighting. This boy is shy as all heck. Um, yeah, there was a big one where someone kept back in middle school. The biggest thing she kept pouring chocolate milk in my hair. Oh yeah, you crushed did. up hot Cheetos in my hair. Mom had a picture that showed me, and it was hilarious. Yeah, she kept kicking me to the ground, and everything, and you know everyone would laugh about it. High school never ends, people. Right, that was middle school. Middle school and high school never. My bangs are in my eyes. Yeah. So me and my friend got together, and on Friday night, we put a like a piece of cheese in that person's locker. So when they came, to, but it was a long weekend. So when, the next time they were at school was Tuesday. So by the time they came in, it was like really really stinky. And you said they chewed it. No, we, they didn't know who did it. We just kind of laughed about it. <laughs> um, let's see. I got in a lot of fights at school. But beat up was. Uh, I had someone, I had a teacher throw me into a locker once. <laughs> Even the dog's like, really? really? I am very tiny and easy to pick up. Yeah, watch this. Oh, don't pick me up. Ah! <laughs> I am very tiny, guys. And I was even tinier in middle school. Um, high school, my senior... Shrunk, didn't grow. Yeah. And senior year of high school. So here I am, 17. That's when I got picked up by the teacher and thrown out of locker. Um, I had a friend, well. It's, it's, it's. I had an ex who picked me up and threw me down the stairs. That happened. Woo! Did it, was he the ex before or after it happened? Well, we, we had just broken up and he got mad or something. I don't know. Why were you? Okay, did, at least did that dude He broke up trouble? with me, though. No, he didn't get in trouble. People took pictures and laughed. Such is America. Which doesn't mean Italia. 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 No. Italia. Italia. No. Okay. Let's see what you got. The reason why I never got beaten up is because anytime I'm usually on the swings all of all of recess every single day. Any, I am the toughest kid in my whole school. I actually have a sixth grader who's afraid of me. You beat up a lot of people though. I don't beat up any people anymore. I haven't okay. done it in the last month. How about one that's similar? Never have I ever... Beat up someone? Broke someone's arm. I've had one of my friends break their arm, but I never have. Never! You see the difference in between? I have. Blood? Um, basically... What? This kid was beating up my friend who was who's gay. You beating him up for being gay. 
and I tried fighting him and stuff, and the teacher was kind of cheering us on because everyone hated this kid, so the teacher really wanted me to beat him up. <laughs> everyone hated this what kid. What school were you at? I was at a college prep school, so like okay, the I'm highest, highest there. school. I'm gonna go That there. was Lakeview. Um, I'm gonna put that place out. So. Bring it up. <laughs> so was that the same teacher who threw you into the locker? No, a different teacher. Same school. <laughs> same school. Um, but yeah, this teacher was cheering, and so I was losing really badly against this guy, because I'm so short. So I ran and jumped on his back, put both his arms in that little position behind the back, snapped both of them. And let's stop here. We need to get the banana bread out of the oven. We'll be back in a second. We're back, guys. <laughs> she got a drink. I got gum. We both have gum in our mouth now. Well, you've had gum before. We had this. <laughs> brownies. Okay. Trees, brownies. <laughs> Brown trees. Nerds. Racist. Racist. <laughs> okay. Get turn. Okay, let me think. Never have I ever. Oh. Hmm. Never have I ever went out with and took someone to prom the second you met them that day. <laughs> I never even went to prom. Wait, I'm just. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> just met someone and I was like. My date and me. We broke up like the day before prom. Oh, because he was he was a bad person. So bad I was like he hit me and stuff really bad. So bad guy. So we broke up and so I'm like well, fuck you I'm keeping the tickets. And I had no one to go with. So all my friends introduced me to this guy and they said hey you guys make a cute couple. So I was like hey dude you want to go to prom with me just like as a joke and he said yes. And it's like cool. So we went to prom together. We did all those cute couple He's only about things. one year younger than him, but really tall. Yeah. But let me fine. say, about pretend this is him standing up straight. He was about like, like. <laughs> yeah, like a foot or two taller. Um. And but, also, yeah. his nickname is Ginger, but his real name is Alex. And if you're real name is Matthew. Matthew. Why I don't know why. Alex though. <laughs> He's just weird. Was his original name? What did they want to call him, Alex? Oh, no, it's that his middle name's Alex, but <laughs> Matthew Alex. Okay. So yeah, I just met this guy. We did all the cute coupley things as a joke, and then we ended up dating. So I guess it worked. You're really cute. You are cute. He's a butt. I'm gonna go grab the the out. Oh, nope, I'm good. No. Okay. No, your turn. I My turn. Let me I think. Send that one. <laughs> hmm. I just let you know, if no one can see my shirt, it's the print of an owl. It's it's just made out of fabric. If you get closer, you can tell. It, yeah. yeah, you can just Cute. see the outlines. It's just a bunch of strings. It's like a doily. Um, it's like an adult coloring book picture of an owl. <laughs> it kind of is. <coughs> Jeez. That's what it is. Mm. Oh shoot, I fell. I'm stuck in my old shirt. <laughs> Help. Ah. Let's see. Freedom. Never have I ever colored all over myself. I put stickers on myself, not colored. You used to color on yourself too. No, I haven't. I colored on TVs, not stickers. I probably have at one point. I don't remember it. Maybe when I was little. No, you haven't. You did, probably before you were born. I asked mom multiple times. I don't know. A lot of little kids color on themselves. Oh, wait a second. I know what. Never have I ever rode down the stairs in a box and it almost broke the TV. I'm proud of this. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. It was hilarious. So, to be fair, we got hurt too. Um, you know did that you little... actually break the TV or did you almost? We left like a dent in the side of it. Those big TVs, you know? It was one of the, Wait, just turn it around. Turn it around real quick. No, like, it was that side. But it was, like, the really, really thick ones. The, like, the long, long backs to them. Oh, you mean, like, the one I have in my room? Yes. Yeah, so it was huge. Oh, like kind of TV. Uh, very big. Uh, so, you know, a lot of people ride down the stairs in, in like, baskets or box, something like that. Like, it's a pretty big tradition, at least in the U.S. I don't know about other countries. The funny thing is that how'd you guys get it to turn? 
Good well, we, we actually, our stairs is like an L. We actually stopped halfway and then Sam ran down and turned us. <laughs> just, guys, you okay? You should have just made a trail of boxes because then you'd slide on them. But yeah, basically, so we slid down the stairs. Our entertainment center was right at the end of the stairs. We forgot about that. We thought we'd stop before. But we got a lot of momentum because my sister like ran and pushed us. And well, was the door open in Drew's room? A church room door open. Yeah, we ran from there. Oh, um, right. So like all the run, run, smack, and then she jumped in the box with us too. Oh, so it was, so like, it was you, it was like, Drew, Sam, Carly just, too. Yeah, I don't know if Carly was there. Probably not. Well, th- well, we just ran in the box and smashed straight in the TV. <laughs> yeah, that's laundry. It hurt like crazy, guys. So yeah, but it was fun. I'm pretty proud of that moment. <laughs> Who got hurt the most? Drew. He was in the front. Our brother was in the front, and he just went, boom, Wait, was first. it literally only age difference? Just age yeah, we did it like that. As you should have done the youngest in the back, so no. Sam gets hurt. <laughs> but he, he did a big, he smacked head first. So all I hit was the back of his head. I went, boom. Hey, and then Sam hit the back of my head. Well, actually, she fell out of the box and smacked into the thing, too. <laughs> she was funny. I was, okay. <laughs> this person, because... <laughs> Because this person was so short, they couldn't fall out. So did... I'm okay. shorter than all my younger siblings, pretty much. Except for you. You're almost as tall as me. Okay. Actually, yeah, you're shorter than almost everyone. Yeah. Let's see. Actually, you're you're actually taller than our oldest. That's actually the funny thing. The, the younger... It's by age. Like, it's hilarious. The oldest is... No, she's taller than me. Barely. By one inch. Yeah. It's hilarious. Like, it's here, then here. Mm-hmm. This is the only thing okay. in our home. Okay, so... And Andrew everyone. is, like, up here. Never have I ever seen a movie on opening night. Mom doesn't let us. Yeah. I didn't know if you went with your dad or something. Yep. I wish. <laughs> yeah, we prayed. Okay. Oh, wait, here's one. Never have I ever... Seen goosebumps two times in a row and both times. Ta- oh, oh wait, here's even better. Never I ever got sick at a movie theater. I threw up on. Mm. I, I was didn't watch- throw up. I was watching Finding Dory with my dad halfway through. What? Right as we we met Hank, I was like, I don't know why I was eating cheese and the movie cheese. Don't trust it. It's even. I have not seen. That I movie told my yet. dad I need to go to the bathroom. I ran out halfway through. I puked on the whole ground and actually tripped one of the guys because uh, my puke went everywhere and he tripped, fell into the puke, and it was like a line of five people. They just b- 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 <laughs> no one even realizes it's dun 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 dun, <laughs> and boom. <laughs> That's hilarious. It was hilarious. I, I was laughing. I was like, still have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Um, let's see. Never have I ever walked into the wrong bathroom. Once. I actually did at the skating rink. My skates were out of control. And the, here's the stupid thing. The boys' bathroom was labeled girls. Mm. And I was I was. My skates were still on because I couldn't get them off. And I was bending down trying to get them on. And I flew into the bathroom. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to take you in the boys' bathroom a lot, too. Because this person is stupid. No, it was because I was, I, I was a boy and I didn't want to go in the girls' with you. But you were still wearing diapers, so I needed to take go, you. Go, go! Yeah, and, well, I kept getting pushed in the boys' bathroom a lot as a kid. And I've done it a lot on accident. Because the urinals are the best thing to get your head dunked in whenever. Yeah. And Sorry, I watch a lot of. A lot of dares, you know, go in there and stuff. And I used to do it a lot in elementary school and get in trouble for it. And then I end up being a boy, so I guess it all works out. So I guess, I guess it wasn't the wrong bathroom. But I've walked in the girls, so I guess that was the wrong bathroom. Well, it used to be the wrong bathroom. Now it's the right. Mm-hmm. It's like, don't know anymore. We don't know. Anymore. I don't know. I've been in both bathrooms. Right. And I can tell you, there's not much difference. Except for Men's urinals, urinals, and also they don't stink and have stinking doors! My eyes! Urinals don't, the toilets My do. eyes! Yeah. <laughs> Some urinals actually have walls between them. Not all of them, though. They do, but they don't have doors. No. 
I'm saying some of them don't have any walls between them at all. You just have to stand next to each other. No, I remember this one thing. It was a bit. It was one of my friends. We were all saying things we hate, and, and he just said, "Okay, you want to know something? I hate every the one person who's always in the urinals. Who's the urinals? That's always talking. It's sticking stupid." No, oh my gosh! In elementary school, yeah, they didn't have head. urinals at our bathrooms. So. So the only wow. difference was that the boys was blue, the girls was pink. That was really the only difference between the two. <laughs> that we don't have. We have a lot in ours. We also have lockers for the sixth graders, but mm. we keep on stealing them. Mm. Also, because we're about to turn into sixth graders anyway. We're fourth grade. We're all two years apart. Okay. And you guys are going to go soon, so just give it. <laughs> okay, Sky. It's the next question. Hmm. What the fuck? Aww. She climbed on that pile herself. Okay, never have I ever seen... I've, wait, not that. Never have I ever... Well, never have I ever had my own cat. Three to be exact. <laughs> I love kitties. I've always won one. No, here's a story. There was a cat at PetSmart. Well, my mom was trying to get our dog that's over a bunch of pillows over there in a the corner. Pretending to make She's a sleeping. fort. She's sleeping. Just sleeping in the just, fort. She's like, right. Yeah. <laughs> But I was, I really wanted, I was walking around because mom said go look around. And I was walking by the cat thing. And all of a sudden, I heard a little tiny cat bump his head on the glass. He's like, because there's little tiny holes there. I looked at him. I looked at his name tag. It was, and it, th it said his name is Tyler Male. And it said, loving cat left alone at the streets before he even was one month old. He was he, he was all the way in Fort Worth, and someone took him to that pet smart. I'm gonna cry, guys. It sounds adorable. I wish I saw him. He looked like a small Dante with orange around his little tiny eyes. Actually Basically, crying. it's a mixture of our two youngest cats. There's actual like there's actual tears in my face. I put my hands on him and he put his little tiny paw that was about this size even though he was about a year old now he's a runt he had put his paw there and then he just kept on dunking his head anytime I put my finger I'd go Bup. he wants you to pet him I tried <laughs> and it's I so asked cute. mom and, and she looked at him and he did the same thing he did to me and she's like meh it's so cute <laughs> so precious okay yeah, your turn. Okay, let me let me stop crying for a second. You want me to fill, spill this Coca Cola on you to make you stop? That'll make me cry more. <laughs> It'll just be angry cry. Yeah, look at this. Oh God, <gasps> cry! It's an angry cry. It's a red version. Oh, by the way, this is the mug I'm using. I got it from Washington. Okay. Um, Not Rainier, the best mountain. Oh shoot, I almost spilled my drink on my legs. Let's see. I'm lazy. Never. Have I ever hmm. owned a telescope? You had a telescope before. No, I haven't. It was a little baby one. But... No, it was a kaleidoscope. Uh, well, it, oh no, you had. It was Drew that had the telescope. Yeah, and I had a little tiny kaleidoscope that looked. Everyone like had a kaleidoscope growing up, man. Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. I'm trying to look where the camera is. That's the point. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Okay, Skyler. Hmm. Ugh. Why am I so tired? Oh yeah, I woke up really early. Yeah. This person woke up at 4 a.m. Let me think. Hmm. Oh, this might be a good one. And I actually did this before. <clears throat> I'm laughing at what I'm about to say, but never have I ever, whenever I was at school, dressed up as someone called math and nature and throw out math problems everywhere. That was this year. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did. You saw the costume. It was your sparkly little red Reinhardt costume. Just let you know, mom did this. 
Because it was the, it was Red Ribbon Week. Red Ribbon Week. Um, I would, and it, one of the days were dress up as a superhero and your teacher on the same day. And we went, uh, Miss Straight calls herself the Baffinator every time we do bath. So uh, we put, we got a cape and we put addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division all over it. I ran into the school building and I jumped up and one of my friends, which was hilarious, was dressed up and it looked like a math version of Robin. I was like, but I am the bat math. <laughs> oh, we were just both throwing math problems all over school. And we went to, and it was so funny. The principal actually said we could go classroom to classroom giving kids math problems. And here was something hilarious. The sixth graders couldn't solve this. We said, this was a major problem. I think it was, what is seven divided by 12? See? It's a negative number. Yeah. Actually, it was point zero 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 at the very end. Yeah, cause some people do negative, some people do only, some people do decimals. It depends on what it's grade hot you're in. in. Okay, I'm gonna. It is hot in here. I'm gonna quickly turn this on. Okay. Wait a second. Look at your fan. No, shoot it. Stop. Which one? Not that one. Oh, that was with the one. You almost made me actually turn off the lights. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, okay. You're well, the fan's not too loud. We still need to talk a little louder, though. Okay. Go. Um. Go. <laughs> talk a little slower so I can understand you. Probably woke up. Okay. The dog can come over here if it wants. She's to. gonna. She's just breaking her own fort. No, and she's just going to sleep. Okay. Hmm. Never have I. Let's do some ever. embarrassing stuff. I know. I'm trying to find some embarrassing stuff. Hmm. Oh, now it's cold in here. Never have I ever. Came to school dressed as a zombie. I came to school dressed as a zombie. <laughs> I, I am never gonna say that was embarrassing. It actually was awesome. I was. I the... had. I didn't yeah. have to go to school. I didn't have to go into <laughs> class. Yeah. Oh, the math teacher kept on calling me the math problems, and that's my bit. I shook it. I shook it. <laughs> so, um, for me, it wasn't even Halloween. I was the theater's makeup director, and I loved. I was practicing my makeup and stuff. Thank you. I can see it through the reflection. Okay. Uh, so I always would um. I'm dress up. I would be a vampire, I'd be a zombie. I love dressing as a zombie. That was my favorite one. Which is why I came to school dressed up as a zombie. Oh yeah, I I go like every every day for school. I dress up as something different. It was very fun. My teacher said I reminded him of the girl with the dragon tattoo, which I have not read, but I heard from what I've heard from people <laughs> it is pretty close to how I act. So that was cool. Okay, you want an embarrassing one? Think of an embarrassing one. Hmm. Think of one they really want to know. This one, most of these are from school because I act my most embarrassing whenever I'm at school. <laughs> More Think about something that embarrasses me. No. <laughs> I don't know anything that embarrasses you. Okay, let me think. Oh, never have I ever went to school and yell creepypasta is awesome in front of the middle of the hall. I also had a toy knife that was covered in blood when I did that. <laughs> I don't know why I... Okay, my youth... I used to... My few, I used to always love Just a Killer. Not a fan. I don't really heart him. I thought he was unique. And I agree, all these people... Who, I agree with the person who dressed up as Jeff this one time and said, Stop terrible fan fiction and stop all these ships. Oh, I do not deserve to be shipped with this stick of jade. And I agree with it. Anyone who ships jade, I'm sorry if you are one, but please stop. They are just, they are in me. He burned her in a fire and killed her family in front of her. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And yet you guys are thinking you can just ship them. No, no, that heart goes. Labyrinth face. Mwah, mwah, mwah. 
But now my favorite has to be Chicky Toby. I don't know why. And you know my favorite. LJ. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I still have to ask this because we're talking about Creepy Pasta. Why do you not like Ben Drowned? I think because it was the first one I ever Wait heard. a second. Wait a second. I have to oh. grab this because you said you don't like Ben Drowned. Oh my gosh. It was the first story I ever heard, so it just didn't stick with me that much. Why do you not like him? Yeah, I got this. Ow! <laughs> the sword is still to its case and it still hurts. Ow. Sheep. What's they called? Sheep. Ow! The sheep! Ocarina. More like Macarena. Because it mocks everyone! Okay, your turn. Mm. Ow! You know what, just for that, like, you are a type out face to tree. I just realized he has pouches. Wait, is there an ocarina in this? Nope. They yeah. don't open. You d- d- don't open. Let's see. Ow, I stepped on my <laughs> skin. And bonged me in the head. Um, <laughs> Most embarrassing thing you can take them for right now. Never have I ever... Let me think. There's, I've done a lot of the same stuff you do. Do you actually went to school and yelled creepypasta is awesome? No, I didn't do that one. But <laughs> what embarrassing thing for me. Never have I ever thrown all my papers in the air only to have to clean them up at school. Yeah, I was told I was graduating, so I threw them all up in the air. Big celebration. Yeah, he ran out. And then it ended up, um, I was held back. So I had to go the next year and clean them all up. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, okay. Never have I ever... This was because we had a show a talent show at our school, not out loud, the one that mom went to that I was singing stinking roar. <laughs> Terrible singer at first. No. <laughs> but never have I ever at a talent show dress up as Markiplier and act as him as, while playing Five Nights Actually, not Markiplier. I dress up as Jack at first, and then next we did Markiplier, and re- and do him doing sister location. That sounds amazing. I I, I would love to see that. I was, no, we actually had shockers and everything. Like we had really? pretend jock buttons, and, and I was so pumped because I got to do this, and I loved it. It was like, let's shock him. Let's get let's get him a best show with a uh, motivated jock. I'm not gonna say the curse word. Yeah! Dive <laughs> And I smacked the button and I actually broke the button whenever we were practicing. See, she loves Jack about as much as I do. Tip in the morning to you, laddies. My name is Jack Septa Guy and welcome to Happy Wheels! Oh shoot, I hit the curtain again. So, you can guess where she got it from. That's she, something. Never have I ever gone trick-or-treating in cosplay. What did you do? I dressed up as Sans. Did you not see the Sans mask inside? My oh, yeah, you did. You did the Sans. I dressed up as Dance Tale Sans. I was mm-hmm. moonwalking almost all night. I was like... No, at school, I dressed up as Dance Tale Sans. But actual Halloween, I dressed up as Devil on Vacation. I devil horns, huge glasses, surfboard, necklace, and at first we were going to have a flower shirt, but the store that actually sold them, where they only sold them, was all out. Mm. I cosplayed as Cypher Almasi from the Kingdom Hearts version, not the Final Cypher's Fantasy version. Cypher's making me laugh. That's so cool. Cypher. Cypher. There we go. Uh, right, I'm, all, I'm, eating, I'm eating the pine tree. Pine tree, no. That, that's our goal this year for cosplays. If we can get it together in enough time, I will be Bill. And this little one's probably be Mabel. Or if not, I'm going to be my most 
my co my OC, which is the sister. Yeah, OC. Of Bill Cipher, and she's called. At first, I wanted to call her Kingdom Heart because she's a heart chip. Mm. But then I thought she's gonna be Wendy's demonic guardian. If anyone hasn't seen that, is awesome. Mm. Basically, each person is assigned someone. Dipper has Bill. Will has Mabel. And if you grow too attached, you the more you grow attached, the more human you become. And Bill won't become so attached. And whatever Will asked why, he said. What are you going to do? Because you know, whenever you get attached to a person and they die, they're going to, that, mm -hmm. what, that means they're, we're going to, you, more of you get lost. Yeah. And we'll, wait, when are the deaths soon? We, as we know, we can't tell the exact death of a person. Why are you redrawing that? No, it's not very dark. I spent time on those. <laughs> okay. My turn. Yeah, your turn. So, so you guys know, I'm a lot about gore now. I don't know. So that's the reason why I'm talking about creepypasta, FNAF, all that. She's in that stage. I've always been in that stage. I kind of have. My, my cover for my phone literally is Eilish Jack, Jeff, Toby, Ben. Oh. Okay. What's your question? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but never have I ever put something in my backpack, and once I come to school, throw it everywhere, and it was script, I printed out a bunch of papers of actual lines of creepypasta from creepypasta.jpg, I mean, not just jpeg, but, eh. Um, and I may have given one of my friends a picture of my <laughs> That's, I kind of have. Not creepypasta. No, not, yeah. It has to be pretty pasta, though. Mm. And I came dressed up as Isla Jack. Yeah. The only hard thing was I had to find black fabric at school, not at home. Mm. And I covered my my eyes with a black belt piece. Then put the mask on. Then we took black sharpies and color streams coming down. That's we awesome. had to burn the mask, though, because... One of my friends had to burn the mask because whenever they had it, creepy things happened whenever they had it at their house. Mm. So I'm not lying. It was really creepy. They were basically, they were having fun. They went to sleep. They found, it wasn't even anyone they knew. The mask went missing. He checked outside and there was a stranger with, if not, fake sharpie black goo but actual black goo that mm. looked almost exactly like I was Jack and had our mask and was staring at his window he was on a ladder because his house is two stories tall it was staring through his window he opened the window grabbed the mask closed it and then pushed the dude okay Sky that was <laughs> scary we both burned the mask we agreed to burn the mask and so he burned it the next day Okay, enough of that. And remember, you're not, you don't be so exact. Okay? okay? When you say never have I ever, you could say something like, um, cosplay at school or something like that, you know? I was really creeped out, though. I know. Don't be so I exact. didn't go to sleep for the next day. The whole day I was awake in the middle of the night staring at the wall. Okay. Your turn. Never have I ever. Uh, oh, I thought we're almost in the same position, just different. Mm -hmm. Never have I ever. Um. Uh, I had hair longer than my shoulders. Definitely down. 
How long have you had your hair, ever? This is actually as long as my hair is. Oh, it's never been any longer? I thought you had a little longer no. before, like right here. No. Oh. I used to do. Don't worry. Okay. My hair actually used to have to be right here because I used to do this all the time. Mmm. Yeah. Ah. You got it's trouble stuck in my lip. doing that. It's stuck on my lip. Okay. <sighs> oh, only a few more before we have to call it quits. Okay, let me pick up one. Never have I ever dressed up as Twister at school. I did it this year. Uh, like I said, rib Red Ribbon Week, and it said dress up as something from the 60s, 70s, 80s, or 90s. Yeah. So I came dressed up as Twister because it was a mm. in, in 1980. Yeah, we have a big dress. It's white and has all the Twister spots on it. And By the way, a, the and spinner a spinner is broken. On, as a hat. Yeah, the hat broke. Um, People actually tried to step on me. Uh, let's see. Never have I ever rode a motorcycle. Ooh. Let's hear about your story first. You know how to do that the crush him? Mm -hmm. I still do. Yeah. Well, his dad had a motorcycle, and one time he came to school, the last day of school. And he said I could have a ride on his motorcycle. So he drove mm -hmm. me and Jude around for a little while and then took us back. And it was the last day, so they allowed it. <laughs> they were like, I would not it. Okay. Well, um, my uncle actually has a motorcycle, and he used to drive me around a lot on it. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So did my dad. Your dad had a motorcycle? Yeah, he did. He, drew, he drove Drew around a lot. He never had it when he was in Texas. Yeah, he did. Maybe once he moved out. Because he didn't have one they were married. Oh, he did it whenever. He did, just it wasn't at the house. See, if I knew he had a motorcycle, I would have let him. Oh, Cece him. was with. Had it. Oh, uh, maybe Cece. Cece gave it to Dad. May have been Cece. And Cece then Dad is... gave Drew a ride because the second he yeah. Drew saw him with a motorcycle, he went, Please! So Cece, I think, is his sister. Youngest sister. So yeah, it's her aunt. Not my aunt. I have a lot of aunts. Yeah. Only one uncle. <laughs> Actually, I have a lot of uncles. <laughs> How many aunts? Um, technically one. My zero way around. I have about two uncles. Yeah. Well, one side on my dad's because my dad only has one brother and about like five sisters. Hmm. Big family. Well, look at I've got bounce of paper all the way on my magic paper. Yeah, because you can't see your foot. I spoiled it. Okay. Um. I never did. Skylar. It's your turn. No, I did the motorcycle one. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a second. This isn't that much of a bear thing. It's something weird that happens. Never have I ever had a kid give me diamonds at my birthday. Rich kids. He isn't even rich. I hate rich kids. They're too yeah. rich. No, that dude had a has a crush on me and he still does. His name's Richard. <laughs> rich kids. No. Richie Rich. No. Oh, wait, you actually watched that movie? Of course, it came out when I was little. I watched that a bunch of times. But... He, his mom is the superintendent at her school. And so... It's probably fake diamonds. Real diamonds. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. 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 Second. It's not perfect. Yeah, he gave me diamonds on my ninth birthday. Okay. Okay. So it looks like we have to go, guys. But it was TF my ninth birthday. Yeah, TFCom signing off. Bye bye.